Well, good morning. It is the 21st of August, 2024, and I'm here reading the comments with George and Dottie are on the floor there staring at me. It's 6.47 a.m. and it's a brisk 52 degrees. It's 72 inside here and everybody's all warm and cozy and we're going to get started eat <laughs> we're gonna get started eating the comments no i think we're gonna read the comments so the long form video of the day yesterday was eagle nest chili cheeseburger contest i was i was looking forward to that unfortunately spoiler alert i did not have one did not have one you say well the reason was that um i was two hours early so um I needed to kill two hours, so I did another video on a boutique that had a Smash Burger trailer outside of it, and I had a, I couldn't help myself. I had a Smash Burger, so I I couldn't. I just couldn't. <laughs> I was full. So anyway, it still was pretty exciting. So the first one is from Susan Jack. Did you have a green chili cheeseburger? I just answered that. Who won? Interesting. If you've been following me and you saw my saloon, um, the saloon in down in the village here in Eagle Nest, I had a cheeseburger there that I raved about. Um, and he won. He it was the chef there. He won the contest. Um, so uh, Greg Half said, "Pie eating yum." <laughs> yeah, it was kind of. I didn't get great footage of the pie eating contest. I was hanging around a whole extra hour to do it, and um, this very nice young lady that I had interviewed came up to me and said, "You know, the pie eating contest is going on right now. They started it early. She knew I wanted to film, and I ran up there, and people were. Everyone had a camera up like it was a Taylor Swift concert. So it was it was tough, um, but it was cherry pie. All right." Um, Tommy said, keep them coming, my friend. Did you know, know um, CVK, that's Camper Van Kevin, lost Martini. This is one of his little dogs. Yes, I did. And Felix and Judy says, Felix lost Foxy Lady last week. It is heartbreaking. It's terrible. I don't know if you just heard Dotty cry. <laughs> I doubt it was because she, I don't think she knows who those dogs are. I'm not sure. Um, so that's, that, that's sad. Um, that really is sad. Anyway, um, Judy, 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 Judy. Thank you, Lisa, for the comment, but I find you much more um, likely to mingle than me. I met so many people, including Rob, through you. We both have our strength, and mine is the phone. <laughs> yeah, Judy's, Judy's pretty outgoing. She's more outgoing than I think she thinks. But anyway, we discussed that yesterday. Um, and Judy also says on the... Uh, chili cheeseburger contest. I've been craving a good burger for months. Those look amazing. The Tri-County Fair is next week, but I won't be fighting the crowd, so I'll have to wait till we get to queue and pull out the Blackstones. Yeah, that's a great idea. We will be doing that more than once in Quartzsite. Um, Renergy Inverter fails to run microwave. This is coming up every day. This was I did this way over a year ago, maybe two years ago, where um, I found a solution to my inverter not running my microwave. It was a very strange solution, but it, 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 it worked. And I'm still getting views on it. Um, and Joe O8396 says, buddy, I have to buy you a beer. I went down the same rabbit hole, changed the fuse to a 100 amp AMG mega fuse and holder, problem solved, thanks again. I bet he sounds pretty happy. Lisa, Lisa, Lisa Roth. On um, chili cheeseburger. I love small town galleries like that. Me too. Uh, so much fun. And the food is always good. Those uh, fat pens that one gentleman was standing behind are really helpful when you have arthritis in your hands. I'm not sure what she was referring to. So, huh. I, I need to look at the video again, especially in your thumbs. Thanks for having us along. Dottie. I don't, can you hear Dottie? She's, she's like, who are you talking to? Dottie, cool it. She's had breakfast. She's been out. I don't know what the deal is, but we'll find out after we finish the comments. Just chill for a couple more minutes. All right. Um, 
dog step in for wolves that was a positive news story she says yay youtube finally showed me one of your positive news stories that's because i switched from shorts to longs it's reducing the number of views less opportunities for views but what the heck um people are finding out about them that's all i care about um at least my viewers are able to find out about them now she said uh there's so many good things that wolves do, but having a short day for dogs stepping in and doing their part. And that the positive news story was wolves, believe it or not, spread seed throughout the forest. How? Through their, the, the gets on their coat and it spread seed and wildflowers. And when wolves are gone, there's a little hole in the ecosystem. So in, uh, in this story, they took uh, a seed backpack and put it on a dog and let the dog wander and the dog filled in for the wolf. That was pretty cool. Um, me and my two RVs. Hello, Rob. Are golf carts legal and good transportation and course items? Soon to retire, we'll be buying a Class C toy hauler RV. Instead of tearing down to get supplies, what's a good transportation for C-Class RVers? Any ideas? Thank you for your videos. Hi, Dottie. Hi, George. Hi, Dottie. Hi, George. Um, my name is Wendy. Well, hi, Wendy. It's good to meet you. Uh, I've never seen a golf cart in courtside. Doesn't mean they don't exist. Doesn't mean they're not legal on the street. I have no idea. I've just never seen them. I see side by sides all the time. If you're going to spend, if you have a toy hauler and you're going to spend time in the desert, get a side by side. Yeah. Yeah. Get a side by side. Um, these burgers look delicious. That's from Tommy. Pie eating conscious look fun. What kind of pie was it? It was cherry pie, Tommy. And King Mike, um, this, my number one evergreen content is graphic content, RV crash. Don't miss this. I've had 1.3 million views on it. Um, it was the aftermath of a terrible accident and I put it out there to um, warn people and educate them about um, steering tire blowouts and how to recover from them. I link a, a really good video on that. Anyway, he said, I was a truck driver, always well watch RVs closely. Certain the driver couldn't drive a large vehicle. It's based on some stupid things I've seen RVers do. Not stupid, but maybe uneducated and not informed decisions, um, like how to recover don't jam on the brakes when you have a steering tire blowout. Accelerate through it. Um, there's, but you can check that out. Um, Eagle Nest Chili, a user, blah, 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 unpronounceable. So fun. Yeah, I agree. Um, and the, the same viewer, uh, it's like user NS8HC6XZ6V. That's when they haven't chosen any kind of a name. She says, and I say she. Why do I think it's a she? I have no idea. It could be a he. My favorite part is when you tell us to go do something else while you're doing something else. It always makes me laugh. I usually listen to you as I'm committing to work. Well, I hope you're committing to work right now and listening. And I truly enjoy your positive outlook. Such a sweet change from somebody always trying to sell you something or just attitude. Your breath of fresh air. And I look forward to it every morning. Thank you. And I'm intentionally don't try to sell people anything. I've, I, in the beginning, I did these, you know, company would send you an item you test it out and review it. I don't do that anymore. Um, I don't do affiliate links. I don't do do this and get a discount. Um, it, it's just, no, no, it's not me. You, you have to listen. You have to suffer through the ads that YouTube puts out. That's enough suffering. M. Campbell says, what a cool little festival. There's some really good artisans there. I can only imagine the aroma for all those burgers. Yeah, I wish there was a, a way that you could smell what I was smelling. It was amazing. And Naj, I wish it was smell of fish. <laughs> Great minds think a lot uh, alike. Lodge. Those burgers look so yummy, yummy. My mouth is watering. Um, I love to see the vendors. Thanks for sharing this with us. I felt like I was there. Um, and then uh, she commented on dog stepping for wolves. Wow, that's very interesting. Never thought wolf would spread seeds. It's great they're using the wolf little cousin dogs to help out nature. It's a really good news story. This is from Darren. I would like to see Dottie howl like a wolf. Now that would be funny. I don't think she's, but I don't know why she's crying. I think maybe she needs to go out again. I will take her out right after this. I promise. 
Randy, hey Randy, that looks like a very good time and very good eats. Yes. And uh, Eagle Nest Balloons was a short, little deflating video, don't you think? Very funny, Tommy. <laughs> anyway, take care. I'm going to take care of Dottie. I don't know if you've been hearing her going <laughs> through the whole video. I, I think she's jealous that I'm talking to someone that she can't see. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow.